Today we're talking about different methods for using lubricant in a black powder revolver. I'm Dustin Weiniger and you're watching Guns of the West. A while back I did a video showing the benefits of using a lubricant over the ball or the bullet in the chamber of your black powder revolver versus not using any at all and it showed that if you don't use it the bore can get very fouled up with the black powder fouling and affect your accuracy. If you do use it it keeps the bore a bit cleaner and the gun running a bit smoother and longer. Well I got a lot of requests after that to redo the demonstration showing the benefits of that same historical lube versus the modern pre-lubricated felt wads. So today that's what we're going to do. And the gun I'm going to use is the Remington New Model Army made by Pieta, that's 44 caliber. And I'll first demonstrate using the traditional lube, which is a historical way to do it. This, if you don't know, is a 50-50 mixture of beeswax and lamb tallow that I just mix up myself. And these lubricated felt wads are the Cabela's brand. Now those can be made at home with felt, and I'll do a video on that a little bit later. But if you are going to buy them from a store, I recommend strongly the Cabela's brand. Those wads are much thicker than most that I've seen and have more lubricant in them. So let's get out there and we'll see how these perform. What we're looking for exactly is accuracy, but also which one keeps the bore cleaner as you shoot. The powder charge I'm using is 30 grains of the Triple FG Go-X Real Black Powder. And these projectiles are my .454 home cast round balls. Just ram that down tight on the powder. And then I'll just repeat that all the way around the cylinder. Now with all the chambers loaded, it's time to smear some of my homemade lube into each one. The caps that I'll be using for both of these tests are the Remington number no. 10 percussion caps. Well, the accuracy is pretty good, and those two really low shots could partially be just me. Let's see how the bore looks in terms of fouling. This is how it looked before I started shooting at all. And this is after six shots with the traditional lubricating method. It's a little blurry, but you can see that it is a bit fouled, even growing out a little, but still not as bad as using no lube at all, as you may remember from a previous video. This time I'll be using the same charge of powder, 30 grains of the 3FG Go-X. Now I'm going to place a pre-lubricated felt wad down into the chamber on the powder. And then once again a .454 diameter home cast round ball. And again I'll ram that down tight and I'll just repeat this all the way around the cylinder. Not. 
Well, this time the accuracy is absolutely fantastic. That's less than a two inch group. You know, there may be something really to be said for these lubricated wads over the traditional method. And you can see here, they even did a better job of keeping the bore cleaner. Now, as a lot of you know, I like to shoot these historical guns in historical ways, which means the traditional lubricating method. But after this range session today, it's pretty hard to argue anything against those modern wads. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video today, maybe even found it helpful. Don't forget to click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos and follow the Guns of the West Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching.